Do, do you celebrate Christmas? Uh, we celebrate it in, in terms of yeah, it's an excuse to slow down, catch our breath, and catch up with family and you know, spend time with loved ones, that sort of thing. So what does Christmas actually mean to you? To me, personally, uh, I'm not uh, super religious, so it, it's more, I mean, I, I can respect that, but it's more to me just that, uh, an excuse to catch up with family. What was the whole purpose of Jesus being born? Do you know why? Uh, the popular opinion is that he's uh, here to save the world, and he was the son of God. So. Save the world from what? From ourselves, I guess. <laughs> There's a specific three little word, do you know what it is? Sin. Very good. Okay. And uh, you believe you're a sinner? Oh, I believe everyone is to a certain degree. Um, you know what sin is? I, it's a pretty broad term, isn't it? But um, yeah, it's terms of knowing right from wrong and all that sort of thing. Well, I don't like to think I'm not a sinner, but I'm sure there are things that are... We're born, we're born sinful people. Um, rebellion against God is sin. Transgressing the law of God is sin. Uh, you know, to whom to know to do good and doeth it not is, is sin. Uh, and, and of course not loving God like we should, that's perhaps the biggest sin. We, we worship the creature more than the creator, okay? Uh, do you believe you're a sinner or do you actually believe you're a good person? I believe that I have good intentions and, and you know, I try to live my life in a good way without upsetting other people and without doing anything that I consider to be wrong. So I, I try to be, you know. Think about how serious it is that God became a man to be born of a virgin, to die for sinners. I mean, that's a big thing, you know? So do you think you're good enough to get to heaven without Christ? Depends. Depends on your definition of all of these things. Like, I, I don't believe there's a man who sits up there and, and watches everything we do and, and judges us and things like that. But I do believe in spirituality. And, and, and So what do you think happens in the afterlife? Do you think you're just going to go in the box and that's it? I don't know. I can't answer that. I'm more, more of a... Uh, you believe in eternal life? Afterlife? Yeah, I do, to a certain extent. You know, like in, and uh, spiritual energy and all that. But I can't definitively say what will happen. So I, you know, don't really like to guess, I guess. Well, the Bible says in Hebrews 9.27, it's appointed on a man once to die and after this, the judgment. You know what happens to people that refuse to repent and trust Jesus Christ as their saviour? You know what will end up happening to them? Specifically? No. You know where they're going to end up? Oh, you say they're going to go to hell, right? How do you know that? How do I know any of this? But how did you know that? Well, from learnings in school and, and all that sort of stuff, you know. You, they kind of hold it over your head like, you do this or this will happen to you, and you know. Well, we can say the same thing about the government. You break the law, you're going to go to prison, right? Of course, yeah. Okay, so why, why do we undermine God's judicial system because God's judicial system is much more holier I think for a lot of people it's uh, they they need to see feel touch things they need tangible evidence you know and without that so it's a leap of faith isn't it sure. we live by faith but you, are you saying that if you could see God you'd believe in him of course I would if I could see him. and so if God were to split the heavens open and he would reveal himself and say to you what's your name Greg, Greg say Greg follow me and you this is hypothetically and you'd see him with the naked eye would you follow him and <laughs> that's right so now it's not about whether you believe in God existence or not it's about rebellion it's about you doing what you want to do versus following God who gave us life right so thank you for being honest but that's reality right it, we're, we're independent rebels oh, I'm, I was one of them I trusted Christ as my Savior 19 years ago was the best thing I ever did. You can go on the website and watch my testimony. I only goes for about 10 minutes. If you were to die today, Greg, do you know where you're going to go? No. Does that bother you? No. You don't care? Not that I don't care. It's just that I, I can't tell you exactly what will happen because I don't know. But, um, you know, if, if there is all of this afterlife and you are judged, I like to think of, you know, I've been a, a good person of good heart and good good uh, good intentions and, and good deeds you know okay so if we can get to heaven by doing good works then Jesus didn't have to be born to die perhaps okay so uh, we're, you know we're here to get people thinking about the true meaning of why they celebrate Christmas okay because uh, it's lost it's it people don't really celebrate Christmas because of Christ 
for the most part. I mean, let's be honest, right? I agree with that. I think the same happens with Anzac Day. I think people just take public holidays as an excuse to have a day off. And but do you believe Anzac Day, that was an event that happened in history that was true? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you do believe in that one? We have some evidence of it. Were you there to observe it? No. Of course not. Okay. All right, one last question. Thank you. With what you see take place today in the world, with the COVID stuff, to me, as I read the book of Revelation and other parts of the Bible, it's, it's, me, it's the Bible coming alive, it's prophecy coming alive. With what you see today come, you know, going on in the world, are you more prone to consider the Bible, Jesus and eternal things? Or do you have a blasé you know, attitude towards it? Oh, I wouldn't say I have a blasé attitude towards it. I do sort of feel like whether you believe it's God or Mother Nature, I think maybe overpopulation, we're getting some getting a little calmer or something if you like but um, you believe what goes around comes around oh, if you want to make it that like sort of generalize it that far yeah i guess so well the bible says whatsoever man soweth that he shall also reap what's going on today is only a destru destruction of man's sinfulness and we're going to see a lot more of it as as we get closer to the end and the coming of christ you know the love of many shall wax cold because of sin and iniquity well you're going to see people no more affection, no more emotion. It's just going to be so, people are so hard and uh, hateful. And that's because they don't have Christ. And this is why, Greg, you need the Lord Jesus Christ. Would there be any reason why you wouldn't consider Christ? Uh, not that I can think of. Not off the top of my Do you have a Bible? I've probably got one somewhere. If you don't have a Bible, I'm going to give you my email. And I'd love to send you one as a gift and you start reading from the Gospel of John. Okay? Uh, we care for your soul. We care about people. That's why we're here. We don't want to see them judge for their sin. As a matter of fact, Jesus was born to die for your sin. He loves you so much that God gave his only begotten son that if Greg believes in him, truly with all his heart, he will not perish but have everlasting life. Our main problem, Greg, is that we're rebels against God. You even said it yourself. If God were to reveal himself and you saw him with a naked eye, Maybe, you know. Okay, well, you're being honest, right? I've got to say, that's a fairly freak occurrence. You know, like it's going to, you're going to have your... Well, he's going to come again. He's going to split the... <laughs> it, Jesus is going to, you know, the, the Bible talks about the, the heavens being rolled as a scroll. And Jesus' appearance is going to be very visible to everybody. Every eye shall see him. And that's coming. It's coming very soon. And so, Greg, when he comes, we don't want you to be caught out. Because he, he'll, he'll, he'll catch you as a thief in the night. I'll, I won't be caught as a thief because I'm watching for his coming, because I'm saved. And like I said, please visit the website, watch my testimony, many other testimonies, there'll be a blessing to you. Got any questions, email, and, and please, Greg, if you want a Bible, I'll send you one as a gift. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah.